Welcome to Maths TV. This is step by step revision video series. Today we will be going through differentiation topic and this will be three part video and you will have to view the video, you will have to watch the video in sequence. Part 1 we will be covering differentiation uh, of x of different uh, bars and we will find the gradient also. And in part 2 we will be going through maximum points and minimum points and in part 3 we will be going through different other applications like finding velocity and acceleration and those other applications of uh, differentiation. So this is part 1 we will go through we can differentiate. First of all we will uh, discuss differentiation of, uh, uh, of the form y is equal to x raised to the power n and how we will be differentiating this one dy by dx is the, the way which we are writing differentiation of y with respect to x and power we will be pulling first and we will be decreasing uh, by 1 so if I write for example I will write for you so if we have x raised to the power n and this is equal to y we will be differentiating y we are writing d over dx this means derivative with respect to x so we are writing dy over dx it means derivative of y with respect to x so how we are differentiating the power we are pulling first so n into x raised to the power we are decreasing n by minus 1 so n minus 1 this will be the method by which we will be differentiating uh, different questions. We will take first question. These are the two questions which we have uh, selected. So dy by dx, dy by dx, for example, if we take differentiation of this one, will be equal to 1 by 3 as it is. And the coefficient we are writing as it is. And this 3 we will pull first. So we'll put in brackets. 3 and x raised to the power 3 minus 1 we have to decrease by 1 plus similarly this one also will pull 2 first and x raised to power 2 minus 1 and for constant we know uh, derivative of constant is 0 so we will write here 0 and this 3 we can cancel with this 3 so dy by dx which we can write y dash y dash also this this means first order derivative this will be equal to x raised to the power 2 or x square 3 minus 1 will be square and plus 2x raised to the power 2 minus 1 which is 1 plus 0 no need to write so our derivative y dash will be equal to x squared plus 2x so this will be our answer in this case and this one also we can differentiate for example dy over dx will be equal to 2 into this 3 we will be pulling 3 and x raised for 3 minus 1 and then plus 18 as it is and this square we will pull and x raised for 2 minus 1 and plus 48 into derivative of x which is 1 so we'll write this one and minus derivative of 10 will be 0 so we'll write minus 0 and next step we can write dy by dx or y dash of x is equal to 2 into 3 will be 6 x square 3 minus 1 will be square plus 18 into 2 will be 36 x 2 minus 1 will be 1 so as it is and plus 48 so that's all no need to write 0 so this will be our first order derivative y dash is equal to 6x square plus 36x plus 48 this will be our answer in this case we can take these two more questions question number 3 and 4 for practice so this is the y given and we can find derivative dy by dx and the same procedure constant is this one so 12 is not having any variable so we will write derivative for constant as 0 plus 
derivative for x will be 1 so 5 as it is and derivative of x will be 1 and minus 5 as it is and we will pull 2 and derivative of x square uh, will be 2 minus 1 so this will be 0 no need to write so 5 minus 10 x so this will be the derivative so y dash is equal to 5 minus 10 x for this one and similarly we can take derivative dy by dx of this side and this question number 4 so this will be equal to constant so derivative 0 plus this will be 2 into derivative of x will be 1 minus 2 into this power we will pull first and x raised by 2 minus 1 so dy by dx we can write as 0 so no need to write this will be 2 and minus 4x raised to the power 1 so minus 4x so y dash is equal to 2 minus 4x this will be our answer we have taken question 5 6 7 uh, a little more complicated for your practice then we'll be switching to next section so question number 5 is x is equal to 5 t cube plus 4 t squared minus 2 t and now we have to take derivative of this one so dx over dt because variable is t so we are writing dx by dt we are taking derivative of x with respect to t so the idea of x over dt will be equal to 5 and pull this 3 and write in brackets and then this one t raised power 3 minus 1 plus 4 pull this 2 power we are pulling first so t raised power 2 minus 1 minus 2 and derivative of t will be 1. Now we can multiply 15 into uh, 5 into 3 will be 15 t squared plus 8 t and minus 2 this will be our answer and next question number 6 this one if we try this is m is equal to n4 minus 2 n cube plus n square whole divided by 4 it's in fraction format so what we will do we will write this one m uh, is equal to this fraction denominator we will split for all so n raised to the power 4 1 by 4 separately for this one minus 2 over 4 n raised to 3 plus n square and 1 by 4 for n square as well now this one we can cancel to 2 twos are 4 so our final equation will become 1 by 4 n raised to the power 4 minus 1 by 2 n raised to the power 3 and plus 1 by 4 n squared. Now we can take derivative dm derivative of m with respect to n we have to take. So dm over dn will be equal to we can take derivative of this 1 by 4 as it is and 4 we will pull first and n raised to the power 4 minus 1 then this minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 3 we will pull first this one and n raised to the power 3 minus 1 similarly this plus 1 by 4 as it is and we will pull 2 and n raised for 2 minus 1. Hopefully you are understanding and following each and everything. This will be cancelled and 2, 2 are 4. This will be cancelled. Now n raised to the power 4 minus 1 which is 3 minus this will be 3 by 2 n raised to the power 2. 3 minus 1 will be 2 and this will be plus 1 by 2 n raised to the power 1 so this will be our answer uh, dm over dn this will be our answer now question number seven which we have written over here x is equal to t cube minus ht square uh, over 2t so i will copy this one over here so question number seven is x is equal to t cube 
minus 8t square over 2t. So, how we will be dealing with fraction as we have done in previous question, we will be writing uh, separately denominator for these two. So, x will be equal to t cube over 2t and minus 8t square over 2t and then we can cancel this t with this one and it will change to square. This t will be cancelled with square and 2 will cancel with this and it will be 4 and our equation will become t square. This will be t square over 2 and minus this will be uh, 4t. This will be our equation. Now we have to take derivative of x with respect to t. So we can take derivative of x with respect to t and I'll move page a little. Okay. So dx over dt will be equal to derivative of t square will be 2t, 1 over 2 as it is and derivative of t square we can write we can pull 2 and derivative of uh, this will be t square minus 1 like that and minus 4 and derivative of t will be 1 and now 2 will be cancelled with this and our final answer will be t 2 minus 1 will be 1 minus 4. So t minus 4 will be our answer dx by dt we have written. So hopefully you, we, you got uh, enough practice for this and we can move to the next. Question number 8 and 9 we have uh, chosen. Sometime they are giving equation like this and they are saying find the derivative of this equation at and a point is given like for example say this is point P which is having coordinates 1 and minus 3. So they are saying find the derivative of this e given equation at this point whose coordinates are given. So this is also same but uh, a little variation. So we will take derivative first. So dy over dx because variable is x. So this will first before this one what we can do we can switch and write this as x minus 4 and x we can move as numerator so it will be x raised to the power minus 1 and now we will take derivative of this uh, x derivative of x will be 1 so we will put in brackets minus and this uh, 4 we will write as it is and this power minus 1 we have to pull so minus 1 we will write in brackets and x raised to the power minus 1 minus 1 we have to decrease this value also this is what we are doing in previous questions you can go through previous questions again if you are confused and this is how we will have to decrease power of this one with minus 1 so minus 1 as it is and we will have to decrease minus 1 also so this will be 1 as it is minus 1 into minus 4 will be plus 4 and x raised to the power this will be minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 because they are adding they are not being multiplied so this will be minus 2. Now what we will do we will be uh, changing this one plus 4 and we can write it as denominator so x raised to the power 2 and in this will be going numerator will be going down its uh, sign of the power will change so this will be dy by dx final value now after finding this derivative we will put this value of x this will be x is 1 so we will replace here uh, 1 plus 4 over 1 squared so 1 squared is 1 so 1 plus 4 will be equal to 5 so in, on this side we will write dy over dx at at this point which is 1 and minus 3 so dy by dx at 1 and minus 3 will be this value 5 Hopefully you understood this question as well. After finishing this question even in examination hall, we can use calculator to check whether our uh, 
question is uh, having some issue or not so how we will check this one we will find derivative of this for derivative we will be using this shift shift and this button dy by dx we will get this uh, function and it will be having two inputs first input we will write this one x minus 4 over x so with the alpha button and x so alpha x so x minus 4 over x we can write in fraction format so 4 over x again with alpha so this one 4 over x and the second at x value is 1 so we will feed here we will move cursor to here and we will put x is equal to 1 and press equal to and we will get this value 5 and you can double check this answer this is like check you can make uh, while sitting in examination hall whether your question is correct or not now we will be going to question number 9 and we will also make check of this question number 9 also sometimes they are giving wording instead of writing take derivative they are writing find the gradient gradient is also basically first order derivative of the of the equation the equation of the curve is given which is y is equal to x square plus 7x plus 3 and they are saying find the gradient of this curve at point x is equal to minus 3 so we'll be replacing this one so we can find derivative dy over dx is equal to so we can write 2 first and then x raised to the power uh, 2 minus 1 then plus 7 and derivative of x will be 1 and plus constant derivative of constant is 0 now this is done we can write on the derivative so dy over dx will be equal to 2x plus 7 so this will be derivative now dy by dx at a given point so at will put brackets and write at x is equal to minus 3 will be equal to now we will replace x by minus 3 so 2 into minus 3 plus 7 like this one and we can uh, we can multiply this minus 3 with 2 will be minus 6 plus 7 so this will be equal to 1 now we will double check by calculator again we will be uh, using this one shift and derivative so uh, this will be our equation x squared so alpha this one x squared and plus 7x so 7x by alpha and plus 3 and at x is equal to minus 3 so minus 3 value we have uh, replaced and we will check our answer should be 1 and this is coming as 1 so it means our answer is correct this is how you can check in examination hall you can make like you can do more practice for these uh, questions hopefully uh, you understood this uh, topic uh, this is basically uh, part one of the of the video and we have gone through uh, basically we have gone through differentiation uh, how we are differentiating some uh, questions we have taken sample questions and differentiated and how we are finding the gradient and finding gradient at, at specific point, given point and next video will be part two in which we'll be discussing maximum points and minimum point of uh, maximum point and minimum point of the given graph and uh, that one also we'll discuss in detail don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel and like the video as well and pass this link to your friends and introduce this channel to your respected teachers as well thank you very much for watching take care bye